Hello, and welcome to the Ariba Network. Today we're going to talk about how to create and submit a credit memo. In order to create a credit memo, you must first have an actual invoice that you have submitted via the online portal that you see here before you, the Ariba Network. To find your invoice, go ahead and go to the Outbox. Outbox has all of your sent items, which would include the history of all of the invoices if you've submitted them on the Ariba Network. We have a filter on our particular invoice box here, but you might just see a list of all of your invoices. And once you find your invoice, just open that up for me, and I'm going to find a test invoice to go ahead and do a credit memo. So for my purposes, I'm going to just locate my test invoice. Okay, here we are. Click on the invoice number in order to open it up. Once you do, you'll see that um, you see all the information here before you. We have a subtotal. And if we want to do a partial credit memo, for instance, maybe it's a partial quantity, maybe it's um, one line item instead of two, whatever the case might be, we're going to go ahead and click this credit memo, line item credit memo button at the top in order to create it. So I think it's just easiest if you open up your invoice and click the button and you'll see that it asks you to enter a credit memo number. So you can make this the same as your invoice number or if you have an actual credit memo number, go ahead and enter that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, you know, CR and then the, the invoice number that I had before. You'll notice that the subtotal automatically reflects the negative balance so you don't have to do any additional updates there. We're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And here we have our items. So we have a shipping cost, we have our quantity, <clears throat> and we have tax. So we're going to make sure, so let's just say we were going to do a quantity of one. So it's going to be a negative one. And I'm going to hit update. So my subtotal has updated and my tax is also updated. Now the only thing that's stagnant as you can see is the shipping cost. So you'll want to make sure that this reflects the actual um, shipping cost that you're going to be um, you know that you're going to be submitting back. I'm just going to make a guess. I'm not actually doing the math here. You would want to do the percentage exactly but let's just say it was something like um, two dollars. And then once you have that updated, go ahead and click next. You're going to receive a uh, preview screen. If everything looks good and this is correct, then you can go ahead and click submit. And that is how you would submit a credit memo.